Coach, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing good. Doing well. Um, big recruiting season for you. You guys cleaned up in the early period. Cam Thomas and Jalen Cook were the headliners there. We had a chance to talk to you about those guys and who you brought in there. Uh, you had to love how you finished out the 2020 cycle. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we need some. We need. We need a little more hype. So hopefully we'll get. We should get some good news there this weekend on. Uh, on 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 another big kid, and then we need we we, we need another one after that. So we, we we still got one or two more to get. And I know that si- uh, size is an emphasis, Coach, because I heard you talking with Cody Worsham yesterday on the Boot Up podcast. Because you're, you're going to look differently, a little differently defensively going into this season. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to get back to um, a little bit closer to what we did at VCU. We're going to play our our uh, we're going to play our matchup zone. And so you got to have a rim protector in there. It, it's just, it's just, it allows it's, it's, it's what I'm more comfortable playing. It's what, what, what we feel more comfortable with as a staff. And, um, you know, we, we got, we're going to get good at it. We're going to get good at it. We're going to get good. And, and it's, it's, uh, it's difficult to play against. Nobody else in our league really plays one. It's difficult to play against. It's difficult to prepare against. And, uh, you know, we're going to do some different things than obviously we did at VCU because the athletes are different and, and some of the, you know, some of the, some of the strengths of some of the teams are different, but it allows teams. And I, I just felt like this year, even the year before a little bit, we were reacting too much on defense, and this allows teams to react to us more than us try to react to them. And so we're going, we're going to press back into the, uh, back into the zone, and uh, you know, really at times during the zone it goes man, and it goes back to zone. There's just a lot of different, a lot of different things to do with it. it can be very, uh, very, very confusing. Uh, to to folks and and uh, you know we 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 can still do what we want to do which is pressure and and get steals uh, you know we, we were able to lead the league in steals playing that way but we also didn't give up a bunch of easy baskets and so uh, I'm excited about it because it's something new uh, hopefully you know once everything's safe we can get back because it's going to take some time to teach it takes it takes a lot of time to teach and then you've got like you said you've got to have uh, the biggest thing in the whole deal is the guards have got to work hard and got to have great ball pressure because even if you get blown by, there's another guy sitting there at the nail who can take the take the guy who blows by, and you guys can just jump switch it. And then you got to have some bigs down there. Not only do you have to have bigs uh, who are who are obviously big and girth and length, but you've got to have uh, you got to have really really smart bigs. You got to have guys that can recognize coverages, call things out, and uh, this first first big guy we're going to get i think he's going to be really really good in the zone in fact that's why we're Ooh. um that's why we're that's why we're that's why we're going to go this way because i think he's a really really good fit for what we're going to do defensively and don't you love josh leblanc there too as well oh yeah josh going to be great but he can play on the wing you know he's not necessarily a center he can certainly play the center position i'm sure but uh you know he's going to be more of the wing man on the zone his length he's got almost a seven four wingspan and so his length nice. is is uh, is just phenomenal, and uh, he's got great basketball intellect. And he's smart and can anticipate and come from the weak side and block shots. There's a lot of things that he can do. Uh, we're talking to LSU men's basketball coach Will Wade here on Off the Bench. Uh, the man he put together another stellar recruiting class. Coach, I am not a smart man, um, but I do know roster size can be limited, right? There's only so many spots to go around. You got a ton right. of new players coming in. It's a little unclear as to who will be coming back or not, but but how do you manage? Like, how do you just manage the raw numbers of a roster when there is so much unknown in this process? Well, it's like I told uh, I got asked that question by somebody at the athletic department the other day. I said, "This was my answer." I said, "Look, I'm like you, T. Bob. I, I ain't that smart. I'm from Tennessee, <laughs> but but I am smart enough to count to 13, <laughs> and we we will be at 13 by the first day of class." There you That's go. the rule, and we'll be at 13 by the by the by the first day of class. And so we're, you know, um, this is. Uh, I've actually worked like this a lot more than I've worked right with. I mean, there were times when I was at Chattanooga and VCU, we were two or three over the limit at certain times, and uh, you know, it always it always works out. There's some, you know, there's just a lot of moving parts right now. There's a lot of things going on, and uh, you know, look. The way I look at it is it's a first-world problem. There's a lot of people that don't have enough players. There's teams in our league that don't have enough players right now. And for us to have maybe maybe one or two too many right now is a good uh, good issue to have. And, and you know, we'll, 
we'll make sure everybody ends up in a, in, in a good spot and a place where they can be successful and where they need to be. Uh, Coach, I know this news just came down the pipeline either yesterday, maybe a couple days ago, uh, but the NCAA, I, 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 up to this point during the pandemic, since everybody got sent home, I think you've been allowed two hours of video conferencing a week. I saw that that number got bumped up to eight hours now for like scheme things, one-on-ones, whatever you need. Um, how are you approaching this isolation, this, this social distancing with getting your team and your, and, and your guys ready? Well, I mean, we haven't, we haven't, I mean, we had a long season. Yeah. And so we haven't, uh, you know, we haven't done a lot of that. We, our, our strength coach, he sends out a workout that they can do at home every day. I've just been more into, let's make sure we stay in shape. Let's make sure we, you know, let's make sure that we, uh, that, that we're in the best shape we can. So when we come back, we can, we can have a chance to, you know, there obviously be an accl- acclimation period, but uh, make sure that we can, we can hit the ground running. I mean, you think about it. We went and played four games in Spain, three of which were high level games, like division one games. Yeah. And we did that in August. Uh, our guys got no break. This, the first time they were able to go home was for two or three days around the winter break at Christmas. Wow. And so, you know, I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a long season. Whenever you do those foreign trips, they're great. But it's a, it makes for a really, really, uh, really, really long year. And so, you know, our, our guys have gotten plenty of workouts in. Because, you know, a lot of those days leading up to the trip to Spain, you get 10 days. Well, you can practice as much as you want. Half those 10 days we used, we did two a day. So, I mean, we got, we got, we got, you know, 15 practices out of the 10 days. And so, it, you know, our guys were, our guys were worn out, our coaching staff. Uh, was worn out so you know we haven't uh, I know our guys have been doing stuff on their own because I text with them and they text me and hey I've got outside and did this and I know a bunch of them been running uh, a bunch of them go to the levee some of them who are still in town and do a bunch of stuff at the levee and ride bikes and that sort of thing to stay in shape and they're doing some basketball stuff a couple times a week but but uh, at this point we're not doing anything organized with them certainly if it changes and goes into the summer we're going to have so many newcomers uh and like I said, we're changing the defense and, and the matchups. Um, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's, 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 it's like riding a bike. But it's going to take some time to get the hang of it. And we're going to need to, a lot, quite a bit of time to getting that right and getting our pressures right and being able to shade the right way and knowing, know, you know, just kind of knowing what to do and getting our fundamentals there right. So if it goes into the summer a little bit more, we'll, we'll probably need to adjust and, and do some of those zoom sessions and, and, and that sort of thing but right now we're just sitting tight and really letting our guys focus on their academics and, and, and staying in the best shape that they can we talked to sharif o'neill 24 hours ago great uh, great personality very personal yeah. kid man yeah. seems like he's a hell of a player too T- tell me about his recruiting because i'd imagine it was pretty unique the, the that his dad's got a statue outside of the arena um and him being a really good player in his own right how did you go about getting him in well, you know, it was it was uh, it was it was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, you know, Shaq reached out to me, and uh, we had talked, uh, you know, probably four or five times. And um, you know, it was obvious he, he he wanted him to come here, and he wanted him to be a part of of, of LSU. And uh, you know, it's like I told him on the on the visit, you know, and this is the truth. Obviously, his last name's O'Neill, and his dad played here, and that sort of thing. But what he does fits us really, really well. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we've had a lot of those stretch fours that can uh, that can really, really offensive rebound and are long. And you know, what he does, regardless of whether you know we're LSU or his dad play, it's a really, really, it's a really, really good fit for us. And that's really what we we sold is that you know, regardless of all the other stuff and the legacy and and and, and all that sort of thing. This is the best fit for you. Like this is the best place for you, the best fit for your game. What we value offensively is what you, what you value and what you do, uh, very, very well. We're not going to ask you to sit in the post, and we're not going to pound the ball in the paint. You know, thirty times a game. Now, if we had your dad, we'd probably do that. But that's not. You know, we we just haven't we haven't we haven't had, you know, we haven't had those type players, and that's that's not really what works. We want quicker more athletic big that can run change in ball screen get out of a ball screen catch it dump you know that's kind of our deal and the fours are huge pieces to 
everything, and, and we think he's just a, a great, great fit for us. You, uh, you, you love to talk about Cam Thomas, and he's going to be one of the, the best scorers to come through here in a while. Uh, but when I hear you speak about Mawani Wilkinson, it's a little different. You, you seem to like this prospect out of Las Vegas. Oh, I love him. I don't like him. I love him. He, he's going to be a real player now. He, uh, he's, he's only 17 years old, and he's 17 going on about 25. But he uh, – uh, just unbelievable – kid unbelievable family he works his tail off I, I think i said this on cody's thing but there was twice i watched him work out at at 5 30 in the morning at his high school and he drives 45 minutes now across town to go to high school wow so he's on he's on the far because bishop gorman's way out from town off 215 in, in vegas it's a long way out and he lives on the he lives on the on the other side of downtown from from, from gorman and uh, he drives there you know, three or four mornings a week to work out. And I don't know how much y'all know, but there ain't many people that are getting up and going at 5.30 in the morning in Vegas. Usually they're winding down at 5.30 in Vegas. That's right. But uh, he's got a, a tremendous, he has a tremendous, tremendous trainer. And he's really just blue collar, hard work, and made himself into to, 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 to what he is, um, you know, to what he is now. And uh, he's, a, he's a tremendous athlete. He's a Marlon Taylor uh, level athlete, uh, great defensive instincts. He's a winner. He's won four straight state titles in high school. Uh, he was the, he was the, you know, he was their, uh, in my opinion, he was their best player, most important player. He's played every position. Their team lost a big guy. He had to play center for him. He's played the four. He's played the three. He's unstoppable from the elbow. Um, he's going to be a very, 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 very good player for us. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to play professionally. Um, but you know, he's, he's 17 years old and he's got a toughness to him. Both his brother, he's got two older brothers. They both play college football and, uh, just really, really great family. And they got, they're from, uh, the, the, their, their roots are here in Louisiana. And so that's kind of how we, we got turned on to him and, um, you know, it's good to, good to get them back to their roots. Will this be your best team that you field going into training camp? I hope so. It depends on how we finish it off with this, with, with these other two guys. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, We've got. I, th- I mean, you never know for sure. I think we've got a chance to be, but we got to get our identity right. You know, we've got to get. We've got to get our basketball identity right. Uh, you know, we didn't do nearly as good a job of that this year as we did the did the uh, did the previous year. Uh, we got to play more unselfishly um, in, in in some areas than we than we did. Uh, you know, the previous year we've got to we've got to continue to get in great shape and fine tune our nutrition. And, and, uh, and get our minds right, but but I, I like our I like our talent. I like what we have on paper. But then again, I mean the league's going to go back to being mm-hmm. really really good. I mean you look at the league now. I mean, some of these teams, like I think y'all mentioned, we had a good recruiting class. <laughs> well, look at the neighborhood we're in. I think yep. like four or five of the I, I don't know specifically. Don't Kentucky's one, number. Tennessee's four, Arkansas seven. Uh, I mean they they're, they're all over the place. Florida's nine. Yeah. Auburn's up there. Yep. Like there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of. I mean, everybody's recruiting well. Everybody's got good players, and so there's going to be a lot of, a lot of close games and a lot of things. But I do, really, really, I think your best team, and this is why I think I say we got a chance to have our best team. That doesn't mean we're going to outdo what the other team did a couple of years ago, but but we can still be a better team and maybe not have the, the record or whatnot. But you know, I think your best teams have a really good mix of talented young guys which we're going to have and then some some veterans that are that have played college basketball that have some miles on them and are really really good you look at a kid like LeBlanc I mean he played a ton in the big he was on the all-freshman big east team and that's a real that's a real league he's you know you you got him you got you know you got Manning who's back you got Dave you got Javon I mean you just have we have a great core group of of experienced guys and then you add talented talented new guys to that and, and and that's a that's really a recipe for that's really a recipe to have a special season and a good season so i feel good about where we are we gotta gotta close it down strong here uh, strong here in recruiting and and i uh, can't wait to when it's safe and everybody's good to go get back on the court and get after it Boot up. Go. there he is the man coach Let's will go. wade checking in on this uh, on this friday thank you coach close strong stay healthy thanks guys have a good one yes, thanks sir. so much coach